to hell with you. Satan, I've changed my mind. I ain't going hmm. to hell with you, Satan. And you know, if you can say that, Satan automatically gets nervous. He wants you to always reside with him. He don't like losing, but he is a loser. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And when you make up your mind to follow Jesus, you only have to ask the Lord to forgive you. And he will. He will take you back as his child right back into his kingdom the instant that you ask. First, uh, let's look at Romans 10. Romans 10, 13. Let's go there right quickly. I want to give you the word just as God leads me to give you the word. And I won't add anything to it or take anything away. Romans 10, 13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord God shall be saved. Let's read that. Romans 11, Romans 10, 13. I'm sorry, Romans 10, 13. Let's read. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's what my Bible say. Make sure you get your Bibles out and follow along with me. Now, I'm going to read some scriptures or quote some scriptures. And I might not have time to turn to those scriptures right now. But at the end of this message, I will make those scriptures available to you so that you can write them down and go back into your Bibles on your own time and read those scriptures. So, since the Lord said, whosoever shall call upon his name shall be saved, if you are listening to the sound of my voice, and you need to be saved, you want to be saved, uh, you got a changed mind, you got a made up mind to leave Satan alone and stop being one of his followers, you're one of the whosoevers that will call upon the name of Jesus. You are that whosoever. Don't let Satan confuse you because he is. Oh, he loves confusion. But my Bible tells me that the Lord God is not an uh, author of confusion. Oh, he, he is not in any confusion. You see, Satan wants to keep you with him. So now that you know, <clears throat> excuse me, that whosoever, and if that whosoever is you, 
call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Satan is trembling right now. Next, we're going to go to 2 Corinthians 5, 17 through 21. Let's go there right quickly. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 through 21. Now, 5, 17 says, Therefore, let's read along with me if you can. Therefore, when you accept Jesus into your life, after you call upon his name, after you are that, if you're that whosoever will, and whosoever shall call, if you're that person, he said, after you call upon his name, you become anew. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, read along, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So, everything that you used to do, never mind what you did five minutes ago, two minutes ago, last night, yesterday, last month, last year. You are a new creature. That's what my Bible say. All things are passed away. You don't worry about that. God have forgiven you. Verse 18, 2 Corinthians 5 says, and all things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Verse 19 says, to wit, that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Verse 20 says, once you call upon the name of the Lord and you are a new creature in Christ, it says, now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. You become an ambassador for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ." Dead. Be ye reconciled to God. Come back to God. He's accepted you. You're a new creature. You called upon his name and he saved you. Verse 21 says, For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Oh, that devil don't like that. He don't like that at all. As you know, um, we're going to go to Romans. Let's go to Ephesians 4.20. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Ephesians 4.20. Let's, let's go to Ephesians 4.20 right quick. Ephesians 4.20 says, But ye have not so learned Christ. If so, be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. Jesus is the truth, remember? If you don't know, Jesus is the truth. So as the truth is in Jesus and you're being taught by him, now you've heard him that he put off concerning the former conversation of the old man. That was before you got saved, before you called upon the name of the Lord. Before you called upon the name of the Lord, that was the old man. Now you're a new man. The old man, which
which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. It said, if so, be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that ye put on the new man.